Welcome to Comet Computer Private Limited Knowledge Sharing Program. Today we are going to discuss about um, availability management. So this is very important for the organization where to maintain the services always available. Normally it is requirement of 100 percentage, but uh, the agreements will have uh, availability percentage as 99.99. So this involves lot of analysis, planning, measuring and improving all the aspects of availability of IT services. Here availability of the services will be measured. Um, we have to ensure that the particular service like internet service or file sharing service or print service whichever is consumed by the end users in an organization thus all those services are maintained 100 percentage or 99.99 percentage available to the end users. So to ensure that is available, we have to do a lot of planning that involves uh, more expertise, knowledge and um, need to discuss with all the other teams and uh, bring out a plan for ensuring the service availability. The availability management process plays an important role ensuring that defined level of IT services are continuously accessible for the customer in a cost effective manner. As we are going to ensure all the services are available always that involves additional cost in procuring the hardware something like we have only one server available for the particular service if that server goes down the entire service will go down so we need to ensure alternate server is available and it is parallelly accessible so that even that first server goes down we can ensure the service is running from the second server in case of database we have already in implemented clustering or IE availability all those concepts so that ensures the database is available with um, high availability so we need to ensure that it is continuously optimized to improve the availability by doing the availability plan always in the organization the major concepts which you are going to discuss is availability reliability maintainability serviceability vital business function high availability and fault tolerance Availability is very much important for the organization. This is going to predict the company's quality and uh, uh, service support for uh, customers. Something like banking website. The website is always available for the end users, public, whenever they wanted to access, uh, do a transaction of money or purchase anything from the third party websites. When they go to banking website, provide the username and password and ensuring the transaction is getting successful completion. So if you are not maintaining the banking website highly available, so during the transaction if that website goes down and uh, the user will get frustrated that payment is not completed but it is directed from their account and they have to call this customer support and ensure their amount is getting back this kind of frustration will happen if you are not available for if your services are not available for 24 bar 7 so with all the design and uh, infrastructure components we need to ensure the services are available always here there are two uh, things we have to see one is the service availability and the other one is the server availability or the hardware availability to ensure that the website is working fine we may need to ensure uh, the servers are working fine the switch which is connecting the server should work fine the cables connecting the switch and the server should work fine so we need to have uh, dual connections in this area so that even if one fails you will get the access via other one so that is a simple uh, method for enabling the high availability or uh, service availability so the calculation is done as per the below table now the important point we should think is the planned downtime which we are carrying out after getting a cab approval and uh, change request is in place those planned downtime activity will not be considered as a uh, actual downtime for measuring the service availability something like suddenly processor utilization is going high network utilization is going high so that 
the services are not available to the end users a kind of incident so that will be taken as a downtime that is a major point to be noted here so for an example taken uh, availability of internet services in an organization in a month you have 30 days 24 hours per day so totally it is 720 hours for example uh, overall downtime of a particular service is 10 hours in a month maybe because of hardware issue link issue whatever it is different components are there for a particular configuration item so overall downtime is 10 hours so how you calculate the downtime availability is 720 hours minus the downtime hours 10 hours divided by overall 720 hours multiply by 100 to get the data in percentage format so here we will get availability as 98.61 percentage the normal expectation of availability will be 99.99 or 100 also some cases so since we go less than the 99.99 like more than one percentage we are less we need to provide justification to the customer or to the organization and uh, need to have action plans on how to improve this particular availability of the services and maybe by improving the hardware components or improving the design or improving with the service provider so all those things will be discussed based on the uh, availability percentage what we are getting it here so what is reliability so this implies how long the specified service is available for a required period say for example a printer is available it should be available for 24 by 7 if that is a requirement it should be available then always so we cannot say between 6 to 9 in the morning the printer is not available so that case it will be taken as a uh, issue and we'll have to provide the justification why the printer is not available for 6 to 9 in the morning so that uh, we have to ensure the services are available always to the end users serviceability ability of the third party supplier to provide the expected service to the service provider so we have a lot of dependency with the service provider like microsoft cisco third party vendors uh, network links so if you want to maintain high availability and you should have a uh, good contract with all these uh, service providers they need to ensure if the services are down how fast they are going to provide a support like a replacement of component or replacement of bug fixes or ensuring the server is back to online so that information has to be dealt with uh, the vendors and ensure they are available always for providing a support maintainability how we see it is to maintain or recover a service component or a configuration item so uh, if you have good knowledge and a proper SOPs available so that if there is any issue occurs we can bring back the services in a quick manner so that will be helping and uh, it is mandatory that uh, organization should maintain SOPs for uh, repeated issues or having a database like no near database and solutions so that if any error occurs they will be able to fix it quickly so here the metrics we have two uh, basic metrics available mean time between failures it means after the restoration of the previous issue and when the issue comes for the same uh, configuration item that will be mean time between failure the other parameter is mean time between system incidents between two incidents starting of the incident and again the repeated incident for a particular ca it may be a different type of incident like last time you had a network link issue this time you are having a, a process utilization issue so the issue may be different but on the service point the service is not available so it will be measured as a downtime so it is mean time between system incidents that is called reliability how frequently your system is going down if suppose in a day uh, three three or four times your printer is going offline it means your printer is not reliable 
and uh, there are a lot of issues a lot of print queues and users are getting dissatisfaction so we need to ensure that the reliability is maintained for a particular services vital business function a critical function or business process which is critical to the success of the business so maintaining the availability as per the expectation of customer is going to help improve on business part and this is going to provide good satisfaction to the customers and uh, end users will be having uh, good support on the applications so it is very much important to maintain the availability and uh, again this is related with fault tolerance by which we are enabling the uh, parallel setup for uh, particular services normal metrics uh, for uh, measuring the availability uptime per service or group of users downtime duration downtime frequency number of failures beyond x time so to maintain your 99.99 percentage there will be certain numbers like only one time you can have some downtime of two minutes or three minutes or multiple times you can have downtime of two minutes or three minutes based on the overall organization strength so if it is going beyond that definitely you are not going to meet your availability percentage and that will have some kind of penalty class so some organization will have penalty class like um, if you are not maintaining 99.99 this much amount you have to settle down with the service provider or with the contractors with or with the agreement uh, will be maintained with different people so some companies will be charging penalty if you are not maintaining the availability percentage that depends on the organization agreements there will be a separate person available to mention the availability and uh, he will be called as availability manager a capacity manager can play a role of availability manager also so he will be owning the process and ensuring the all the uh, components all the services are having expected availability and uh, he need to have plans like suppose this month uh, some of the services are not available uh, like 99.91 or 99.95 so particular gap the expected percentage is 99.99 and you have a lagging of 0 0.05 or 0 0.08 so what is the plan for improving it which area it has to be improved whether it is on a component side networking side or server side so those things of discussions will happen and uh, they'll come out with the plans and next thing is continual improvement process though you are maintaining 99.99 percentage we should always think about improving further and uh, ensuring that uh, the services are always available so this comes to an end of availability management and here the responsibility is given completely to a, a network person or to the senior person to ensure all the services are available as per the expectation from the customer hope you got some idea about availability management thank you very much and have a nice day